All right, this is an unboxing of a 14 uh, inch slash drawn uh, optical tube assembly. I've been waiting for this for six months or more. But here we go. I believe I'm doing this. It's been a while. Been waiting. Uh, first, it started out with a nine and a quarter telescope, and then it went to 11, and then it went to a 14 inch, so it's a long story how I ended up getting this. Wasn't planning on it at first, but I guess it just kind of happened. And I'm putting it on a Celestron, or sorry, Nioptron uh, CEM70. Maybe a little underrated. They say two thirds of the weight is what you should put on a mount for the payload, but. I'm going to test it out and see how it works, and uh, we'll go from there. It's kind of heavy. <laughs> we'll see if I can muscle it up there. It's a little bigger in person. <laughs> wow. Uh, I guess you kind of see it there. And uh, I only got it from B&H Photo. Um, they've been a good company to me so far. They've had good customer service. Um, anyway, it comes with a luminous piece. Looks like it's has an 82 degree field of view and looks like it's taped shut and we'll cut that real quick I think it's 23 millimeters, if I remember right. Yeah, it's a big, big guy. Fit it in my hand for sure. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but yeah. 23 millimeter. Yeah, so I originally ordered it uh, nine and a quarter, and they said it'd be too many months. So I switched vendors because they said they had one on stock, and they didn't. They kind of lied, and then I switched to another one, and they said the same thing, which they did, and they lied. And then finally, I found a place where they had something on stock, but the only thing that they had on stock was a 14-inch monster. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna get the biggest one, <laughs> or not the biggest one, but the biggest one Celestron makes. And here's your, your finder scope right here. And yeah, um, I have a I have a guide scope that I'm putting on. I'm not going to do an on axis or off axis guider. I know there's going to be some flexure snobs out there, but I'm going to just try it anyway. And uh, if you if, if I ever get a hyper star for it, then I'm going to need a guide scope anyway. So let's hope. I'll have to work through that painfully. And uh, it comes with another box here. And this is your diagonal. And it looks like there's an adapter on this, so you can put an inch and a quarter and two inch uh, eyepieces right there. And this is, of course, your, your 90. And uh, uh, looks like some kind of adapter of some kind and some instructions and got all that out maybe I opened it from the wrong side no it says top so I think they handle on this things on the bottom though so It's 
a lot bigger in person. Oh, here's this, and here's that. Oh, oh good, it has two handles. So, I'm going to pick this puppy up. I'm a six five, and you can see like how big this thing is. I guess it's not too bad. I guess it depends on the person, though, too. Yeah, I'm gonna sit this on here on my desk so I can move this box out of the way. inch uh, celestron scope it's a big big guy now I'm going to try and put it on the mount <laughs> let's see how this this goes This way towards my mount. There's the mount. Let's see if I can do this on my own. There we go. So yes, it can be done by one man. <laughs> And it's in. I'm gonna make sure those are nice and tight though. I do not want this thing sliding. That is a heavy mug, let me tell you. But yeah, so you can do it on your own. I'm 6'5", so I mean, I have this mount up pretty high, but you can do it by yourself if you want, and I just, Man handled it the very first time I pulled it out of the box and threw it on this mount and I'm not 
that good of a astronomer. I, I'm kind of a beginner, but yeah. So this is my setup for now. This is CEM 70. And uh, it's a little, like I said, it's supposed to be two thirds of the payload is what you're supposed to put on, on these if you're gonna do like imaging and stuff, but I'm gonna give it a whirl and see how it goes. But yeah, thanks for watching.